he's good. He's good. <laughs> Chad Brendel, BearcatJournal.com, here with Josiah DeGuar. Josiah, um, obviously last time I talked to you at camp, hope is eternal at that point in time. How good does it feel, 3-0, and getting close to conference time, and then you guys are starting to gain some confidence? Yeah, for sure. It feels great. Um, it really just feels like everything we've been working for is clicking right now. Um, of course, we've got a long season ahead, so we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves or getting greedy or anything like that. But everything's clicking right now, um, so we're feeling real good, and we're just excited for uh, another opportunity this week to get better. One of the things we've seen here in the past couple weeks, you and Desmond Ritter seem to uh, mm -hmm. have a pretty good connection. But sure. how's it been like building that rapport with, with a, a younger guy and kind of helping bring him along, giving him a security blanket? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's, that's what I try to do if – you know, especially with the freshman back there, um, he's been playing great. He's been he's handled himself really well. Um, but for me, just if I have the opportunity to help him out and make a play, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so the last couple of weeks, it's been working out. So it's been it's been real good. Now the Miami touchdown was easy. Yeah, you just release and, and yeah, that was hard. The 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 Alabama A&M mm -hmm. does threw that before you were even out of your break. That yeah. was uh, some good timing on that route. Yeah, for sure. It was definitely definitely a timing route. It was covered three, so I didn't even think I was gonna get the ball. Um, but, you know, try to get open at the top of my route, and he made a great throw. So, yeah, it was a really good connection for sure. One of the things I noticed this week, 16 of the, the 22 starters right now are guys that mm. were here when the coaching change happened. Okay. How has yeah. it been for you guys as a group? Obviously, the first year is going to be a little bit tough. Mm -hmm. But for you guys as a group to, to buy into this, to, exactly. to be – all in with Coach Fickle and, and his staff and everything that they're talking about. Yeah, I think buying in, like you said, is the biggest thing. Um, since they got here, just buying into everything they're doing, um, just listen to them, trusting them, and obviously it's, it's been working out so far. So just keep on doing that and sticking together. Um, that's the biggest thing. We don't really look at it as, you know, we were recruited before we got here. We're just one big team, one big family now. So I think that's how we look at it now. Was that hard in year one? I mean, just because you don't. Mm -hmm have those relationships built yet you don't have that trust formed does that does that make it tough in year one and it's gotten easier the more you've gotten to, to spend time with those guys yeah i think the more you spend time with uh anybody you get more comfortable um at first of course it's like how are they going to feel about you know the guys that were here before um the new coaches got here and everything but i think just being able to uh, like you said buying in and getting more comfortable over time because time uh, the more time we spend with these guys, obviously, the better it's going to get, and the closer we've gotten with each and every coach, and it's obviously worked out. So we're we're really excited about it. How fun is it to to be on the sidelines and see 92 guys play? Yeah. 35 guys get their first playing time as yeah. Bearcats. What's that like as an older guy? Yeah, it's it's really exciting. I mean, still no Josh Wiley though. Yeah, still no Josh, but. Um, you know, it's really cool to see the freshmen get to play. Um, I think with the new rule, um, you know, you got to take advantage of that. In a, in a game like like we had this past Saturday, it's super ex exciting to see all the freshmen get in there. Um, and I think the biggest thing is everyone was just excited for everybody to get in. There was no hostility of, like, I didn't get my plays, I didn't get my stats. I think it was just cool to see everybody excited for everybody that got an opportunity to show what they could do out there. One last thing. How, uh, how much different is it, how much more fun is it Offense is playing well. Defense is playing well. Special teams is playing well. It's not one one side's carrying us and the other side's catching up. It's kind of all three phases coming together. Yeah, I think feeding off each other is a huge thing. You know, the defense is playing well, and that obviously brings momentum for the offense to play well, vice versa. So I think feeding off each other is huge, and if we continue to do that for the rest of the season, I think we're going to be pretty successful. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.